So last week, myself and quite a lot of other YouTubers commented on IFTTT's decision to introduce a pro plan. Um, and one of the challenges or one of the issues we had with this was um, the fact that when it was first announced, it seemed like it was $9.99, $9.99 for the pro plan um, and that the basic plan then was just reduced to three custom applets. Um, and if you wanted any more than that, you had to pay the 9.99. Um, this caused a lot of pushback. This caused a lot of reaction from people who'd been using the IFTT service, IFTTT service um, for the last few years because um, it wasn't really communicated all that well. Or if it was, I don't think the intention came across. Um, and one of the things that I commented on was, not only do I not like subscription services, but it felt like this was a big, big leap um, after having the service for free um, for so many years. So with that in mind, I was actually contacted by Peter Curley, the VP of Marketing from IFTTT, um, and I sat down and chatted with him for about 30 minutes around this decision, um, the kind of dis de the decision-making uh, process behind this, um, what this means for the consumers, and also a little bit about the messaging, because I do get the sense that this was probably um, not the intention that they had, or the, the response was not the intention that they had. So I wanted to talk very briefly today about the, the IFTTT's response. Um, they're not sponsoring me in any way to, to, to talk about this today. They're not uh, you know, endorsing me or giving me any sort of uh, benefit. Um, they just wanted to reach out and kind of clarify a few things um, and, and make sure that people were kind of aware of their side of the story as well. Um, so I just wanted to talk briefly about what was discussed in that meeting. So the first one is the price. Now, obviously $9.99 was a bit of a shock to people. Um, and I think both of us kind of discussed the idea that a lot of the potential positives of a pro service um, kind of got lost a little bit in the, the fog of the, the price being $9.99. Um, and in his own words, Peter said that this was very much an aspirational price, um, that they weren't really sure what they were wanted to charge um, for a pro service to the consumers, um, and that the $9.99 was very much aspirational, but they wanted people to kind of pick their own price. Now, obviously this probably wasn't perceived very well, maybe it wasn't communicated very well, but it seemed to a lot of users like $9.99 was the price. Um, now what they have done is you have the option to set your own price. Um, initially this was set your own price for the first year. Um, Peter has said now they are committed that if you choose a price between anywhere between $1.99 and the $9.99 that you feel that the service is worth, they will honor that for as long as you're using the platform. So if you decide that the service is only worth $1.99 Per month you opt for that they have said that they will honor that which is pretty decent um if you're prepared to pay for the pro service. The reason why they said the pro service is important was, uh, and this is uh, this is something I would be in agreement with, there hasn't been all that much innovation with IFTTT in the last few years. Um, the platform itself is great, the integrations have been really good, they integrate with a lot of products and whatever else, um, but features that we've asked for, such as logic gates um, and enhanced kind of tasks and, and putting in our own kind of conditional logic to, to applets hasn't really been there. Um, and this has been restricting what you can actually do. So Peter said that very much one of the reasons they wanted to create this pro um, price point and this pro option was to kind of build on that innovation is to kind of get that innovation moving again and to give them the kind of scope and bandwidth to be able to do that sort of stuff. Um, now whether or not you kind of disagree that there should be any subscription service given that companies like um, you know Google and Amazon and Toya and whatever else are paying to have their products and their uh, ecosystem on the platform. It is an interesting perspective to go that, okay, fair enough, they might be getting um, you know, the bulk of their money from these products, these uh, companies, these large manufacturers, um, but if they wanna grow, if they want to develop additional services, additional features and functions, that possibly the, the, the need for additional revenue um, and scope and bandwidth is there. I'm not saying I agree with it, I'm not saying I disagree, but he did very much make the case that it's not just about the manufacturers paying to have their devices on the platform, that the subscription service is about giving features and functions above and beyond um, what you'd get in the basic service. 
Now, whether or not there should be the, uh, the, pr the, the free service should be reduced to just three custom applets, um, we couldn't really agree on. Um, you know, I think that's very, very low for the, for the free service, particularly if you've been using it before. But whether or not three is sufficient for a, for a free tier, I'm not 100% convinced. Um, we both kind of agreed that subscriptions are not the nicest thing in the world. Um, I personally don't like subscriptions and I gave some suggestions. I mean, personally, I would much rather pay a once off yearly subscription, particularly if it was heavily discounted as things like Amazon Prime and Audible tend to be if you get the yearly option. Um, so this is something we kind of back and forth. There's no plans on this in the future or in the near future, um, but he did say, you know, it's something that they will bear in mind. He was quite frank and said, you know, they, there has been a lot of pushback. Um, and in truth, I can kind of see where people are coming from, that this was a bit of a shock to see this pro version introduced. Um, but in the plus side, the options of conditional logic and he kind of teased that there'll be additional innovation and features and functions down the line in this pro version. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to give them the benefit of the, the, the doubt. It is a great platform. Um, I'm not sure that I'd be willing to go the $9.99. Um, I'm going to have to think hard, long and hard about what a fair price point for me and my usage is going to be and whether or not I, I want to continue using the IFTT platform. Um, I want to see what they're doing though with the pro option. So it may well be a case that I'll sign up for the first year uh, and see what sort of innovations and changes and, and additional stuff like that conditional logic come out um, and make the decision after that. Um, he did kind of reference that, uh, the, you know, the, the CEO, Lyndon Tibbet, has talked to very a lot of other YouTubers. I highly recommend you checking out his interview with Brian from um, all automate your life um, and he's blogged and kind of done some videos on the IFTT website to kind of give a little bit more clarity and context um, so I'd highly recommend checking those out as well. Am I completely convinced by the arguments that they made? No not completely convinced but I do want to see um, what's going to come from this. I think the big thing is that if this had been a subscription service from the start this would be a non-issue um, or if there had been tiers from the start this would be a non-issue but I do appreciate the companies need to grow and need to develop and need to generate more revenue um, and for most companies the subscription model is the way to go um, so guys I, I, I'm curious to see your thoughts um, I'm not 100% convinced myself but I'm gonna give them the year and see what happens and see if it's worth paying for the pro subscription in the meantime I may look into other options and, and other integrations Samsung smart things for example is doing great uh, work in terms of integrations with lots of different platforms and creating routines uh, as is the Amazon echo app uh, where a lot of the routines are starting to get smarter and Amazon teased at their event last Thursday um, that they're gonna have more kind of smart um, communication and interaction with herself the voice assistant uh, that will let you create your own kind of routines and things depending on what you say to your echo devices so I'm really curious to see what you guys think I I'm really impressed that um, IFTTT did reach out I, I did comment that this is a small channel in a very small market Ireland um, and he said no this is important you know we want to we want to be um, communicating and talking to and listening to our users from from all regions and all markets so I was really impressed um, that they reached out to me in spite of the fact that currently this is quite a small channel. Um, so that I have to give them props for. And I do have to also give them props for the fact that they are trying to listen to the customers. They realize that this has caused quite a lot of confusion, quite a lot of frustration. Um, and they are moving to, at the very least, listen to people's concerns and criticisms. Um, whether or not that's going to change anything or make them roll back, I, I doubt it. So anyway, I won't labor the point. The um, gist of this is I'm impressed that they reached out. I'm impressed and enthusiastic by the fact that they are listening to people and communicating with us in the smart home uh, kind of consumer base. Um, so let's see what happens. Um, folks, I hope you found this useful and uh, I'm really, really glad that I was able to share this little update um, from IFTTT with you. Um, I will be in touch with them again. They've, they've encouraged me to kind of be in touch with them uh, with any more questions. So if you do have anything else that you can think of or any concerns or questions that you have about the IFTTT service or this new pro plan, please hit me up in the comments below and I will relay those back um, as much as I can. Um, but all that's left to do is say thanks very much. Uh, give this video an old like and uh, subscribe to the channel um, and other than that bye bye for now